What's up everybody, Jackson here, and Battleborn is now free to play for everyone. It, it's basically the same thing as a Smite or a Paladins, blah blah blah. You start with X amount of characters, this is a rotation that changes each week. All PvP maps are free, all PvP modes are free. Uh, great fucking deal to anyone who hasn't played this game yet, especially after the winter update. Now, I'm gonna be start talking from my perspective. But let me just say first that my perspective is that of a day one buyer who saw this game unfold, saw what it was, what it became, all right, and paid $90 to see it, or $80 to see it become that. And now to see it go free to play, uh, it's a good thing, but why is it a year late? Why, this motherfucker, this should have been the business plan from the beginning, okay? Now, before I start getting into it, let me just say, anyone who hasn't played Battleborn, give it a try. Don't let anyone else's opinion influence your opinion on this game. Like, go give it a try, give it a play, it's free. You know what I mean? If you like MOBA-style gameplay, you will love Battleborn. I'm not even joking, you will love it, I promise. Uh, that $80, I've probably gotten 300 hours out of this game in the year that I played it, in the technical test, the beta, probably about 300 hours, alright? Worth the money, right? And with that enjoyment I had, worth the money. Okay? <sighs> that's why it's so... That's why Battleborn has always been... You know, I've sat there and I've criticized it and talked about it and done videos on it, on where its weaknesses were, where it needed to be improved. And it, it's just like, it was never the game, like the game modes, the gameplay, the characters, that sort of thing. It was always just... <laughs> everything else the fact that it was a triple a title that i had spent 60 dollars on that felt like a motherfucking free-to-play game like i was unlocking things at the rate that i would be unlocking things in a free-to-play game they of course fixed this with the winter update but a day one credits were drizzled out like i can't even explain it but you barely got any of them hardly ever in order to unlock like the new dlc characters i remember it took me about two weeks to unlock kid ultra all right that's not me playing every day hardcore, but that's like two weeks, you know, I'm playing it here and there to unlock one character. Holy shit. All right. Paladins, I unlocked like half the roster in their closed beta in like fucking a weekend. You know what I mean? I had like half the roster unlocked and, you know, what that, that was the roster then because they've added characters. All right. So here's the thing about Battleborn, this is my opinion on it going free to play. It's an excellent idea, it should have happened a long time ago. And I find it funny that when, I think his name is Schreier, something Schreier, he works for Kotaku, but he's the one who originally broke the news. He said Battleborn would be going to a free to play model, and he described exactly what we currently have now. Like, So obviously he had someone in within Gearbox talking to him, telling him this shit, right? And immediately big mouth old stupid porno fucking loving Battleborn fucking Randy Pitchford comes out and he's like i just i'm not i don't like this man <laughs> and it doesn't even have anything to do with colonial space marines i know a lot of people hate him because of that but that's you know that would have been enough for me if i'd given a shit about that game and been there and seen that unfold i wasn't around but for me just with what he's done with battleborn you know like oh it's not gonna come free to play that's insane <laughs> that's not gonna happen we want to assure everyone who is buying that your fucking purchase is named because they were trying to milk the fan base for a year right they're getting money on these skins these premium skins that they introduce into a unfinished game because these were fucking put into battleborn before the winter update before they had earned them in my opinion they didn't earn those they earned my 60 dollars asking price they didn't earn turning this game into a free-to-play model in a triple a setting okay and it's just the more i think about it the more it makes me angry because I think of a game like Paragon and Epic Games who did it the right way. Who said, look, you guys want to play it early? Well, here's a Founders Pack. It's $20. This is early access. We're still developing this game. They're fucking being honest up front. And now, how many years later, they've continually added on to it. Blah, 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 blah. And the people who were buying it knew they were Founders, you know, before the fact. All right? Before they bought it. Okay? Everyone that bought Battleborn day one is now being called the Founders with the Founders Reward Pack. Alright? And this is essentially a slap in the face on top of a, already a slap on the face. 
all right when we spent 60 fucking dollars on a game that we could hardly get matches for I, i'm sure on steam if you bought it day one on steam you probably got a month out of it if that where you could actually play it with people online because on the ps4 where mo the majority of battleborn players are i it was impossible to find a match some days 10 15 20 minute queues 30 minute queues I would walk away, blah, 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 come back, still in queue. I would give up and start playing something else, all right? These, this, we weren't told that we were buying a Founders Pack, okay, Gearbox? You did not tell us that what we were purchasing was early access, even though that's clearly what it was. You know what I mean? And these missions that you have to buy and stuff, yeah, sure, they work now. There's still bugs in them, but they work for the most part. On day one, these missions were broken to shit. Balancing issues out the ass. Several of them were uncompletable. With a five-man group of hardcore gamers going at it and giving it our best. Uncompletable. Okay? We could not do it. Alright? And that's unacceptable. When you have bosses that just stand there and let us kill them. And then other areas where it's literally impossible for us to defend the core because you've placed snipers so far up that by the time anyone can reach them and kill them, they've destroyed the core because its health has it doesn't have enough health. There's no turret placement that can hit them. There are now, of course. So what we bought was early access. They acknowledge this when they give us the Founders Pack which is a piddly thousand platinum so we can buy one of the top skins or a couple of the lower ones. Maybe a handful of taunts and emotes. Woo the fuck who? A bunch of gear packs which anyone like me who has spent 300 plus hours on this game like I have on the PS4 version of it, right? I'm not gonna fucking give a shit about any of those gear packs, okay? I don't give a fuck gearbox about any of those gear packs what i want is premium fucking skins i want my 60 dollars that i spent on a game that is now free because all i played was the pvp i played the story a fair amount once the ops came out but i paid for those all right so my 60 dollar initial payment bought me broken story modes all right that are now 30 dollars for anyone who wants to upgrade from the free to play version 30 60 dollars bought me those broken fucking missions that don't work and one premium fucking skin and a handful of loot packs of fucking gear that i'm sure i've already got i'm not even downloading this on the ps4 to see what these rewards are i read it and i said fuck you i went and i looked at the price of skins and i said fuck you once again how dare you how dare you Trick me into your early access program, call me a fucking founder after the fact, and give me a piddly ass reward box that might as well be a 25 cent fucking grab bag from the local fucking gas station gearbox. How fucking dare you? Now all that said, keep in mind, this is the perspective of a day one buyer, alright? And anyone who hasn't played this game, go give it a try, alright? It's free to play now. It's past the winter update. They fixed all the balancing issues. They fixed all of the fucking story missions at $30 in my personal opinion with how much I enjoyed the PvE content regardless of it being broke to fuck. Worth the $30 asking price. Worth the worth the worth the worth the time. But it's just it's one of those festering glaring examples. Of what happens when you're not upfront and honest with your fucking with the, with us, the consumer. Like this happens all the time. Gearbox and fucking this this game and fucking Colonial Space Marines and all of these things that they themselves have done. Everyone fucking does it, and it's got to fucking stop. So even if I love Battleborn, even if I still enjoy this game when I play it, even when I still have fun, you know, just a blast when I play this game and play these characters, regardless of all that, this sort of shit needs to end. I want you to be honest with me. And if you're honest with me, I'm more likely to buy your game. 
I would have bought your, I would have paid $60. Even if you had said, look, this is early access. It's going to be updated. Blah, 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 blah. I probably still would have done it. It's not that I feel like I didn't get the value for my buck here. It feels like I was just lied to the whole time through this whole fucking process. I feel like you you delivered broken mechanics, unbalanced characters, busted fucking missions with broken bosses and encounters. And I paid a triple A price for it and was told it was a finished product. And now year after the fact, I see that it clearly wasn't after I log in after the winter update. I see it clearly wasn't when I fucking, you giving it out for free now. And it's just like, ugh, it wasn't finished and you're calling it a, you know, you, we consider you our founders. You don't get to call me a founder. Okay, Gearbox? I'm not your founder. I didn't sign up to be an early access founder. Okay, like those that bought into Paragon or those that bought into Smite and Paladins, those that were told, you know, clearly what it was. All right. You don't get to fucking call me a founder. You call me a burned customer and an even more wary consumer when it comes to your products, especially. That's it for me, Jackson. I love you. I'm out of here. Sorry about the fucking epicness of this rap, but god damn it! Take care, everybody.